Hi guys! Today I want to show you how to make this very simple but very useful mechanism that you can use in your junk journal, scrapbooks, photo frames, postcards. Well, there are plenty of ways to use it. It's super easy to make, it's just a few minutes to make and you will see it just in a moment. We will start with a base. I chose to pick uh, a piece of paper, I think it's yeah, 15 by 15. And the actual frame will be, I think, 10 by 10. Yeah, whatever piece you have will work. I have nine and a half. By the way, this piece of paper doesn't really have to be square. Moreover, I'll tell you that when I created it for the first time, uh, for me, it was a solution. I was supposed to make a photo frame and I wasn't sure which way the person will use it. It was a, a frame for a picture 10 by 15. So I decided to create this spinning mechanism and the person can actually use it either way. And after a while, if you want to, to change the picture, again, you have an option. Now we will need some paper leftovers. Very important moment. We want to find the very center here. You probably noticed that I don't like measuring and I, I trust my eyes. So this is a very center here. I'm gonna use the sponge, but also you can use a button and you make a hole. Aha, I've got a little problem here, so I will punch it like this. Still using this middle line. And now I will cut off what I don't need anymore. It's not really necessary as long as you use this hole in the very middle of your frame. Now we will find the very middle, very center, just like that. That's it. Actually, this is a quite important moment. You want to make these pieces kind of same. Fold them like this. Okay, so we have something like this. And now you want to make sure that you push them against the, the edges just as much as you can. This is when you attach another piece of paper. As you can see, I'm just pulling these flaps. And it's spinning. Oh, 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 don't forget to let it dry. I just now realized that one of the flaps is quite long, so I just trim some pieces, no problem, like at all. Okay, here we are, ready to attach our mechanism. Something like that. And you can see that it's spinning. This way you can check whether or not you attached it correctly. Looks perfect to me. 